I love fishing in every season. There's something unique about each one. Different bugs, the fish's feeding behavior, and of course, the landscape itself. A summer thunderstorm rolling in over a distant ridge satisfies just the same as a frosty pattern frozen in ice along the river's edge. But it's mid-March and I'm so incredibly ready for some warmer spring days and some actively feeding fish. Winter was fun, but I'm ready for it to be done. And that's good because spring has seemingly sprung. It's close to 80 degrees today and has been for the last week. Bigger bugs are finally rearing their buggy heads and I'm at a large productive freestone river to capitalize on the so-called secret season that takes place after the ice thaws and before snowmelt begins. As I first cast my flies into the water, the possibilities seem endless. There we go. Fish number one. <laughs> Very lively rainbow. <laughs> They're definitely feeling that spring, spring weather as well. <laughs> healthy fish. Nice chunky rainbow. Feels really good to get on the board. Rivers this size can definitely be daunting for tenkara or other fixed line rods, but uh, with a long enough rod or a long enough line and being willing to kind of hand line the fish in at the end, uh, it's definitely doable. And really you can pick apart every big river. Just, just, you know, look at the river's landscape and like right here in front of me, for example, is a nice big rock. So I'm kind of using that as some structure. Uh, you know, I don't need to be casting all the way across the river here. We're on the slack side where the fish should be hanging this time of year anyways. Targeting around this rock in the slower areas, in the eddies. And uh, even with a shorter 10 car rod, it's definitely possible to catch some fish under conditions like this. I don't want to jinx myself, but uh, can't tell you how good it feels to get on the board with that first rainbow within the first 10 minutes of uh, getting my line in the water. That does not always happen, especially in these big rivers. Hopefully it's a good sign of good things to come. Hopefully these fish are hungry today and that spring bite is on. Nice fish here. So for that one, I actually let it swing in the current, uh, right in front of that big boulder, the one I was kind of targeting earlier. And sure enough, just like Browns do, he was chilling under that rock. Saw that fly swing in there and it was too much temptation for him to handle. <laughs> and here we are. He took my new stonefly pattern again, which feels so cool, so rewarding to whip something that you think is unique up and catch some fish on it.
off it goes. <laughs> and some, uh, some very spunky, hard to handle, hard to show to the camera uh, rainbows in here. They are just plump, been eaten hard, and uh, water's nice and cold. They are ready to go back as soon as I uh, get them unhooked. Nice seeing such healthy fish. They frighten really well, too. Very nice fish here. Just trying to keep them out of the rapids. Out of the stronger rapids at least. <laughs> uh, always failing with the nut jobs here. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, beautiful fish, beautiful. that absolutely perfect colorful rainbow man what a great day out here this is the first day in months that I feel like winter isn't just trying to absolutely suck the life out of everything <laughs> it feels so good Warm wind is blowing, sun is in the sky, gorgeous rainbows. I mean, seriously, colorful, beautiful fish. Nice pink lateral lines, white tips. Every fish I've caught today has been so healthy looking. There we go. <laughs> brown trout took the uh, size 18 black waltz worm one of my absolute staples in my box you will not catch me on the river without that fly it just represents a whole lot it can be a small caddis a mayfly small black stone fly it's just one of those awesome patterns that represents nothing and everything
Ah, stupid, stupid. Started hand lining him way too early there. He got caught in the current. I should have just let him go. I kept, I kept a hold. Uh, yeah, broke the tippet right off. That was a really nice, nice chunky brown. That is disappointing. That is a disappointment, but totally my fault. I had him, should have just tired him out a little bit more, gotten him into some softer water, but uh, here we are. You live and learn, right? It's the joys of fishing. Another brown in here. Oh yeah. What a day. What a day this has turned into. The fish are hungry again. And it feels so good. Fish seem to be just about everywhere today. This is the day you kind of dream of on a big river. There we go. Man, healthy fish. This guy is just staying glued to the bottom. This big Kiwi rod has a lot of backbone as far as fixed line rods go, but I'd be willing to bet compared to a five weight, this still feels like more of a tug, still feels like more of a battle. You really got to stay on it, work the fish right. It takes a lot of skill. <laughs> Not tooting my own horn, just saying. It's a challenge. guy does not want to come in, but we're going to get him, I hope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, yes. Cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a good day. Not bad, eh? Chunky, healthy. Awesome. Spring has definitely sprung here in Colorado. The bugs and the fish, they already knew it. And now I do too. And that feels so, so good. 
I had some really memorable experiences this winter, but I welcome spring with open arms. What a great day of fishing this was. If you'd like to see another video from this river, click the video above on the left, and if you'd like to watch me suffer while fishing a beautiful winter landscape, click the video to the right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.